everyone, welcome back to my channel, Ready, Get, Set, Travel. My name is Ariel and today I am staying at the Ballantyne Resort here in Charlotte in North Carolina. This is my first ever time visiting Charlotte and the North Carolina state in general. I spent the first four nights with some family friends and we had so much fun checking out amazing mountain towns. We went to the town of Boone, we went to Chimney Rock, Grandfather Mountain, and I was able to make some cool videos that I hope you guys enjoyed. This is going to be a room tour and hotel tour here of where I'm staying. Also, I am a Marriott Bonvoy member. It is free to sign up, and when you sign up for a card, every Marriott hotel you stay at, you earn points to help you be able to afford somewhere else to stay. So because I'm a points member, and I got this hotel for a really good deal while I'm here right now, I decided to go for it, and maybe I'll be able to go to Disney World with those points. We'll see about that in a little bit. But anyway, today is just a room tour and a tour of this beautiful resort so I can show you guys what it looks like and see if maybe if you ever come to Charlotte, you might want to stay here too. But before we begin, if you're new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button so I can keep making cool videos like this. And I hope that my videos help you plan your trip for the next place you go visit. So with all of that out of the way, let me show you guys the room and the tour of the hotel. Directly to the right of the door are two closets on each side and this little bar area which I'll get to in a second. Inside each of these closets hangs two robes that you can wear if you'd like to. I already have some things hanging in here, but it actually gives you a lot of storage space. Inside the door to the left you have your room safe and a bunch of different hangers plus shelving up there. And you also have shelves down below that you can put all of your stuff in. Now on top of this bar is a light and also you have your ice bucket, cups, they gave you like wet ones to clean things with if you need them. They also have a mini bar here which you can get some very expensive wine if you'd like. And then they also have a little menu here letting you know how much each item is and all of that information. And also they tell you that items on display and in the mini bar are weighted. Do not use mini bar or refrigerate personal items as moving things could result in mistakenly charging your room. And you can order a refrigerator, but it costs you $25 if you want a refrigerator, but it's a flat rate, so it's only $25 for your whole trip. So that's something to think about if you're trying to save money and you're really not into the whole charge just to get a refrigerator. I think it's kind of silly to be honest, even though I ended up doing it because I like having cold water. I just think that's a little bit of a rip off. That's gonna be my own personal view. Down below if you open these cabinets is the mini bar. I'm not touching a single thing out of here because I think everything in here is way too outrageously expensive. But they have wine in here. You can get your beer. You can get little snacks down here. You can also get Coke and tonic water. And they also have like, you know, hard liquor here if you want to. I'm not knocking you if you do. I'm not really into these kinds of things myself personally. I mean, I'm always up for a beer or wine, but having this hard stuff just like this, I'm not really a fan of. They also have like honey roasted peanuts and Snickers and milk chocolate almonds. And as you can see, they're on these nice little things. I'm not even gonna touch it because it's all weighted and that's how they know if you take in anything or not. Now, if you turn to the left of the hallway, you have the bathroom and the bathroom is really interesting. It has a French door entrance and you walk in here and there is the sink and it comes with a scale. It's got the trash can right there. You have towels down here, and you also have a hair dryer. Then you have the sink, plus a makeup mirror that lights up. You have, hello, you have the nice mirror with these two really nice lights on each side. Over to the left is the toilet, and right here is the walk-in shower, which if you open it up, over here they give you washcloth with some like shower gel slash bath, bubble bath gel. And then over here, this is the first place I've seen have these so far, other than Disney Land and Disney World ones, which I know we're switching to this. But they have embedded into the wall three different things. They have shower gel, conditioner, and shampoo. 
and this is part of an eco-friendly thing where they're trying to use less of those to-go things and they're trying to use more of sustainability. So no, it's not glass, it's still plastic, but they refill them so it actually lasts longer, which is good for the environment. It's not a rain shower head by any means, but it is a nice shower head nonetheless. This is the part where my jaw just drops. To the left of the sink, they have this huge soaker tub right here. I have never been in a hotel, ever, with a soaker tub before. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the rest of the room really quick. They have a really nice tall mirror that you can see your whole body in. Hello again. And then over here is the sleeping area. So they have two queen beds right here. They have a really nice window. And then over here, they have a entertainment center with a nice TV over here. And this is my other favorite thing. I love this artwork, but then down here, they have this bench that you can put all of your stuff on. So please ignore this, this is my family's things, but we're all here with our suitcases and our backpacks and everything. And then over here, they have a really nice long table that has a lot of space on here. I've already done some video editing when I walked in the door at this table and I had room to spread out all of my electronics and my wires and everything. The other great thing about this table is it has a bunch of charging ports here. It's got three normal plugs and two USB ports. I'm really happy that hotel rooms are finally starting to realize that people have a lot more electronics with them. So they're starting to add more plugs and more USB ports throughout the rooms. These were not sitting here when I walked in, but these are things that you can get from the main lobby. So they have a Charlotte magazine down there at the concierge desk where you can get information about Charlotte itself. And they also have a Valentine magazine. So what I've discovered when I came to North Carolina, especially around Charlotte, Charlotte has what they call neighborhoods, and each neighborhood has its own name. We were given this when we came in, it's got all the hours because of COVID, things are different right now, so they've got all the new hours right here. Now this room also has an adjoining room that you could, if, if, you know, if somebody stayed on that side, you guys could open this door and be able to go back and forth. So that's really nice for families. I wanted to show you guys the view from my room. All in all, I think this is a really, really nice room to stay in. It's comfortable, it's big, but it's not huge. So that's it for the room tour. Right now, we are going to go downstairs and check out the main lobby and the rest of this amazing resort. So I just wanted to show you guys, one of the rooms is open for a conference room, and this is what each of these conference rooms looks like for board meetings. If you come all the way down from the main lobby and you come all the way down here and you turn this corner, you're gonna see what they call the grand staircase. Now, this is really beautiful. I'm gonna back up the camera a little bit so you can get to scale of what this looks like. I am the only one on this wing of the hotel right now, so it's very, very quiet and you hear jazz music playing, but that's it. So I'm trying not to talk very loud because I don't, but I don't think anyone's around me, but this hotel is beautiful and I'm really enjoying my time here. I just got here like an hour ago and um, I'm just in awe walking around at how beautiful this place is. If you're into weddings, this place was voted one of the best places to have a wedding uh, by The Knot, which is a website that talks about like places to get married and helps you set up your dream wedding vacation tile thing. So this is actually really, really cool. So this place has been voted every, almost every year, I believe, by The Knot for one of the best places in the country to get married at. And uh, looking around here, I think it's very expensive, but I also think it would be beautiful to get married here.
Hey guys, this is me at a different day. This is actually the second to last day I leave from North Carolina. And I wanted to show you guys the two pool options that you have. They have an indoor pool and they also have a really nice outdoor pool. I'm just gonna show you what's available in the space and how nice of a big pool it is. So you are able to swim quite a bit. Even though it got a little crowded near the end of my video, I was still able to enjoy a nice little area all to myself. And I had a really nice time swimming here. So let's go check out the indoor pool then I will show you me swimming in the outdoor pool. So if you want to get to the indoor pool, you actually have to go down to the lower level. And I'm also going to show you guys the fitness center. This is the indoor pool. There's no one in here right now, so I can finally show you guys what it looks like. I tried to film this yesterday, but there were a lot of people in here, so I didn't really want to put them on camera, especially since they had little kids. To get in, you need your key, just so you know, you do need your key to enter this section. And you don't have to worry about towels because they already have towels here. So there are two people in the spa area, so I'm just gonna be really quiet and just show you guys these pools really quick, and then we are gonna go to the outdoor pool. These two smaller pools on this side are actually lap pools. So usually you can turn on a machine over there and it'll shoot jets of water here. So you can just continuously swim in this area and not be pushed all the way back. So you can swim as much as you want. But right now, sadly, they're out of order or else I would show you them. But I still think they're really cool. Okay, here is the bigger indoor pool. Now, as far as indoor pool goes, this one's actually pretty nice because it's a good size, plus you have these two over here if you really just wanted to chill in a pool and not really swim around too much since they're not working right now. You could theoretically just hang out in one of those. It looks like it is four feet deep on the ends and the center right around here is a little bit less, so it's more like around three and a half feet. So right here is the hot tub that was just bubbling and boiling, but two people just left it, so it just turned off. And if you turn around from the spa area, you have a whole other seating area over here. You can sit down and relax, and they also have bathrooms right through that door. This indoor pool is kind of inspired like a Roman bathhouse of sorts. You can tell by these columns and the pillars, and also they have lion heads on the wall that in the photo of this Pool. They usually, apparently, are supposed to squirt water, but I don't think they work anymore. But there it is. In the photos I saw, these lions are supposed to squirt water into the pool. But they're not on right now. But they're still pretty cool. There are people using the gym right now, so I'm not going to go in there. But luckily, I have footage from the night before that I went into the gym, so I'm going to show you guys that right now. One of the best parts about staying at a resort like this is they have a bar and they will bring you your drinks. So I just ordered myself a pina colada. Tastes really good actually. I not believe it's sweet, but not overly sweet, which is why I like it. This is one of my favorite resort pools I've been to other than Disney World and Disneyland that have huge pools. So if you're looking for a good pool to come to to relax and maybe get a little sunbathing in and also swim in a really relaxing pool, this is definitely it. Thank you guys so much for coming with me to check out the Valentine Resort here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I had so much fun taking you guys around this really big hotel and I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope that what I showed you can help you decide if this is a good fit for you and your family to come stay here. As fancy as it looks, there are a lot of families here and right now they're all splashing around enjoying the pool area, which is very nice. 
I had a lot of fun finishing up with the pool today because this is technically a different day from when I filmed the intro and the rest of the lobby and everything. And it is a really nice place to come and stay and just hang out in this area and get nice and cool and also work on a suntan if that's what you're into. So again, thank you guys so much for coming with me today. Before you leave, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to comment down below because commenting down below really helps other people find my channel. Also, if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that way you can follow along with my adventures and the notification bell helps let you know when new videos come. This is the last video from my North Carolina series because tomorrow I am leaving to go back home and we are getting up again at 4 o'clock in the morning and I don't think I'm going to do a flight back to California video because I'm just worn out and tired. I did so much in a very short amount of time. But I hope that my videos helped you decide if coming to North Carolina would be a good fit for you to come and enjoy a really fun vacation. I hope that you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys back here really soon on Ready Get Set Travel. Bye everyone.